Hello guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet another video training series which is brought to you by the ITVideos.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can add an email form on our contact us page or on a contact page that you may have on your website. For example, uh, we have a contact us page here and uh, we would like to add a small form right below the text that will allow users to add their information let's say they would like to give you a feedback or they would like to say something about the website or they would like to reach you instead of redesigning the whole form or uh, reinventing the wheel all we can do is that we can just make use of the plugins that we have on our web on our WordPress website and this is the WordPress website by the way this is uh, having WordPress which is running under the hood. So I'm going to come down to my plugins menu which is on the left hand side and I'm going to click on install plugins the sub menu and this is what we get and as you can see this page lists all the plugins that are installed and that are not installed. Uh, currently none of the plugins are uh, active at the moment. So if I click on inactive plugin, this will show me that these are the plugins that are uh, there but uh, they are not active and they are not running at the moment. But and what we are interested in right now is using a plugin that is known as, if I uh, do a quick Google search, this is the one that I am looking for and this is called contact form 7 and uh, this has been downloaded over 1300 times or oh, more than 1300 times and uh, this is a pretty good one and uh, it says it works uh, this is some equation some formula that uh, wordpress uses so i can always go ahead and download this one but i have already downloaded it on my on my hard disk so let's quickly go back to our wordpress uh, dashboard and uh, I can either uh, type for the contact form 7 here or I can just upload. If I want to upload, I can just you know look for the uh, form that is right here, the plugin that is. I'm going to click on that and say install now. The file should be in the zip format, as you can see. Because when you download something from here, it will. Um, so here we are. Now the plugin has successfully been installed, but it's not active yet. Uh, we can uh, activate it. Let's go ahead and activate this one. And the moment we activate, it will come back to us with this message. It says uh, it is active. One plugin is active. If I just click on that, it will only display the one that is active. And uh, the way we use that is if I go to the settings menu, this is the magic. This line does everything. So if I want to use the form right below the text, all I will have to do is just go to my page, which is my contact us page right here. If I just go for uh, edit. And uh, anyway, if I just paste that code, I have that in my clipboard. Let me just hit Control V, and here, if I just hit Update, and uh, now if I go back to my Contact Us page and hit Refresh, we should see some magic. And here we go. This Contact Us, uh, this email form is right here. And if I just attempt to submit or send the information. It also does the validation for us. It tells us that the name is blank and the email address is required. So it's all that simple. So just to quickly summarize, uh, all we did was we just used a WordPress plugin. The favorite one and the most popular one being the Contact Form 7. You can either you know, search that on Google or you can just come to the plugins page and uh, Click on Add New, and search for the plugin, or if you have already installed or downloaded it on your hard on your on your hard disk, 
we can always you know put that here but make sure that it has to be in the zip file format so that was it uh, this is how it would look like no programming required no no deployment or no uh, coding knowledge required whatsoever so it's like you know doing a couple of clicks and uh, it's uh, there for you. It's very straightforward and simple. It's very neat and clean. And uh, now, before I say, before I wrap this tutorial, uh, I would like to show you how we can set the, uh, how we can configure the contact form so that you receive the email there. Here you specify your email address and whenever someone sends an email from here, sends you a feedback, you will be the one receiving the email. So as simple as that. So that's about it. Uh, I'm going to be making some more videos about how to add various plugins, how to install themes and few more uh, informative uh, video series. So that was it from uh, my end. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Please leave your comments down below. And